Hey girlfriend, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Kobe. Thanks for joining me for another video. So today we're doing all the tips and tricks that it comes with applying lashes and doing your brows. As you can see, I've got some rather thick brows, so I'm giving you all the details on how I get them together and how to apply regular strip lashes with glue and some magnetic lashes. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell their neighbor to come be a part of the girlfriend friends and if you want to see how I got these lashes and brows together just keep on watching okay so we're going to get into lashes first I have been loving this whole magnetic lash trend I did not grow up with those and I wish that I had them when I was dancing they would have saved my life and saved me so much drama with getting ready in my previous get ready with me's um tutorials things of that nature I've been using the lashes by moxie lash and I'll leave my discount code in the description but I've been using the style money and I've been using the style happy and they're kind of all over the place but this is what they look like but their parent company moxie lash reached out and wanted to send me some of their lashes and so I have here some in the style baddie some in the style sassy i love the lashes packaging better it's acrylic it snaps together it's bulky and i can't lose it so i grew up loving the ardell wispies those are my faves they are voluminous enough i love them they look great on my eye i used to double stack lashes when i just wanted them to be a little bit more flare before they started coming out with all of the different types of styles so that's also an option i did get some lashes off of amazon these are from Nucale lashes and this is a pack of 14 for t that were ten dollars so i will link these in the description and these are um some of my favorite that i've used to glue on and the moxie lash and the lashes are magnetic but one thing i will say when it comes to lashes make sure you're customizing them to your eye to fit your eye shape the last thing you want is to have a set of lashes that are like falling off of your eye or too deep into the crease personally I don't like my lashes to come too far in I like for them to follow the natural hairs of my eye because that makes it look as not as natural but it doesn't look so oh my gosh she has on lashes right you always want to cut off the extra shablams at the end so these little things then I try to figure out which sides the shorter end so I'm going to cut the first little short chunk of these off. Ah, just like that. And this will be my left eye. So when you cut your lashes, you want to cut from the outside going in, not from the inside going out. And now we have two good lashes, right? Okay, so you're going to want to invest. When I say invest, just buy. You're going to want to invest in some lash glue. I cannot recommend the Duo Lash Glue enough. The black one is my favorite because it dries black, but it blends in with the lashes, obviously, because your lashes are going to be black. They do have a white one that they say dries clear, but it doesn't. It's like a weird taupe color, and it's like doesn't look good on dark skin, especially if you mess up and you get like glue under like on top of your eyelid or something i like very voluminous like wispy like in your face lashes not so much that they're you look like you're gonna fly away because the trajectory from my eye to my brow is a little far so i like to cover that space i don't put the lash glue directly onto the lash i put it on my hand just a little strip like that don't need much this last this glue dries faster than the white one which i also really like i do recommend putting mascara on your lashes first with the magnetic lashes it is kind of difficult to then put the liner on afterward okay. blow it off some because the worst is when you um put the lash on and the glue's not dry enough and your lash your lid gets really wet okay so you want to then place it on your lid i like to put it in the middle and then move it in or out and then just push it you want to get as close to your natural lashes as you can without putting the lash on your natural lashes just like that okay then we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side 
And you always want to look down when you're putting the lash on. Looking up just makes it that much harder to apply. And then just push it in to the lash line. Okay, so then what you want to do, squeeze the lashes together. That mascara, while it's still wet, will help clump the lashes together. Literally, just like that. Like, how good does that look? Okay, next we're gonna do the magnetic lashes. Okay, so we're gonna do the Moxie Lash, and this is in the style Sassy, and they're a pretty short lash. So this is the Moxie Lash Liquid Liner. So this is what it looks like. Looks like a literal regular eyeliner so I'm gonna put that on I do have on mascara this is my first time ever putting on the moxie lashes I do wear the lashes all the time but this is my first time ever putting on moxie lashes so I'm gonna put this on as if I was putting on like liquid liner and then I'm gonna let it sit for three minutes to dry okay so I'm going to take that lash and I'm using my moxie lash tweezers just kind of move it around look how simple and fluttery that looks like I love that I'm just gonna take them and smush the lashes together I would wear this one every single day if I could I don't go anywhere to wear lashes every day so I'm gonna put the other one on so you guys can see how they both look yeah I'm obsessed so as you can see you have two different options for a regular glue on lash or the magnetic lashes these are two different ways that you can put on false lashes okay now let's get on to brows so I've been saying this four months get you some edge control some <laughs> brow pomade something but it needs to be like a waxy pomade gel texture i use my edge control from style booster and i take just a little spoolie and i get some of it on there and then i just brush my brows down i actually do this every single day that I have to leave the house when I don't even want like majority of the time when I don't have makeup on I actually started doing it without makeup first and then I was like okay well I gotta try it with my makeup it looks so fluffy just so fly anybody get that from Despicable Me it's so much better than um using just like a gel like a brow gel brow gels do not work for me so if you have bushy eyebrows like me like if it's just a lot of ground to cover I cannot express how much this edge control and this edge control in general has just saved my life when it comes to my brows I really wanted to get my brows microbladed and for what reason do you see these things and I really wanted to get them laminated just so that because they're super duper curly so just so that when I woke up every single morning I didn't have to do something to them but once I discovered doing this, I was like, oh, I'm not paying to get them laminated and I'm for sure not getting them microbladed. Style Factor Edge Booster. You can get it on Amazon, I think, and I know for sure you can get it at the hair store. So I have two different ways that I like to do my brows. I don't really have to do much because they are pretty full and um, nice and thick. Sometimes I like to use pencils. And so recently I've been using the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil. But then I also like to use the Anastasia the Dip Brow Pomade. Mine's in ebony. So because I like my brows to stand out and they're already pretty thick, I use two colors to do my brows, which I think is a very smart thing to do. So you want the front of your brows to be um, lighter, not dr drastically lighter, but you want them to be lighter because that's naturally the thinner part of your brow. And then as you go we want it to be like a gradient effect and grow to get darker this is just how I like to do my brows so that they look nice and natural but still thick well, I'm gonna show you how I do them with 
the dip brow so first I like to take this is the dip brow gel from Anastasia in um, dark brown just flick it up into the brow because I'm really I'm not really using it for the gel part I'm using it for the color so just flick it up into the brow then I'll go into my dip brow, which it's loved, clearly. And these last a really long time. They can start to dry out, but they do last a pretty long time. And then this is just a random angled um, brush. And what I've learned is, just over time, getting up close to my brows with a mirror makes me make them way more dramatic than they need to be, and then I look crazy. But being off of them enough helps me guide and they just look super duper natural so nine times out of ten i don't use like a mirror super close i'll I have a mirror right next to you guys so i'll use this mirror so just take it and i start in the middle because i want that to start the gradient effect and i just kind of like i say flicker through the brows i don't press into the brow and drag I like the flickering motion because I'm creating extra brow hairs mainly which this is another reason why I do the concealer when I'm um, under my brow before I do my foundation because you can still kind of see it's a little light on the brow bone without having to do an actual like highlighter and then I follow the way of the hairs and every time I do my brows it's different it's never the same. I do always say that my brows are distant cousins, not sisters. Just because of the way that they grow in. And then you just want to make... A tail. And as you can see, like I don't go back into the product while I'm trying to make the tail. And so that's what my brow will look like. And if I need to clean it up, I do use a flat concealer brush. This is from TJ Maxx at some point in my life, but I do use a flat concealer brush and I take a concealer that is darker than a brightening concealer and I use that and clean it up. So then I'm going to go back into it and I'm going to go on this side, like I said, just flickering it. So yeah, like I said, distant cousins, never sisters, never going to be twins. So they look different, but they look okay on my face. So then I just take whatever's left and kind of fill in the bottom so it doesn't of the front the bottom of front of my hair so they don't look so sparse so this is how I get my brows and how I do my lashes not super duper easy you do need to practice this it does take a minute it's not gonna be a fast process because you want it to be right um, but yeah this is how I do this so this is how we're ending this is all of the things you need to know about the lashes and the brows I really hope that this tutorial was informative and you got to take some tips and some tricks away and maybe putting on some lashes and some brows will be a lot easier for you now so don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to tell their neighbor to come be a part of the girlfriends make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I'll see you on my next one Peace.